Come to his house. <laughs> Honestly, I can't think of anything better if my house had to go than <laughs> snacks and movies. Yeah. You love it's a great alternative. Sitting in places and eating snacks. That's absolutely sure. Watching movies. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for our February favorites. A whole month. Or most of a month full of our favorite flicks. My favorite flicks, yeah. You said it was just your favorite flicks. Well, ideally, it's just my favorite flicks. Yeah, we're starting it off with one of your top three. Top I would one. say definitely top three, yeah. Okay. Gross Point Blake. Oh, yeah. In fact, yeah, I, I could not even tell you, give you a ranking one, two, three. Like, it is uh, the number one tied for third. Okay. Yeah. So, it's it's rank one. There's just three at rank. One. Exactly. Yeah. There, there you go. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah. John Cusack, Mini Driver. I love this movie. Gross Point Blank never gets old. And you've got your Gross Point Blank. That's right. High one of our Union viewers on. sent me this. Yeah, Jacob sent you that. Thanks, Jacob. Sent me this T-shirt. You are dressed to kill. It's the uh, oh, invitation. I get in with you. Get a free admission with guest. So I get nice. I get to go. Invitation for the high school reunion. There you go. Love it. Yeah, well, should we uh, jump on in and head to the reunion? I can't freaking wait. I'm let's, not going to lie. Let's do it. But first, a like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for one of the best movies ever. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Full income, access to polls, helps people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Gross Point Blank. Here we go. So I first saw this in college, actually. Yeah. I mean, it came out in like the... Early 2000s, 90s, yeah. early 2000s. 97. I discovered it in college at a local video store. Okay. Just went in to rent some movies and was like, this one looks interesting. I like John Cusack. Let's do it. And, and turned out to be my every one of my all-time day favorite for movies. A whole year. I, I watch it very frequently. <laughs> The soundtrack for this is is on point. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. Really? Oh, you're in for a treat. It's such a dark comedy. I think this was maybe my first real introduction to dark comedy. Dark comedy. Looking at yearbooks and pictures evokes so many memories. Some good. Some bad. The school is excited and proud of your accomplishments. Hold on a second. Is he anti assassin? Looks like he just took out a guy trying to take out somebody. He's just an assassin, a, a paid, a higher pay for higher whatever <laughs> got him <laughs> well who was John Cusack supposed to shoot just the guy on the bike the guy on the bike yep. who knew the guy on the bike was going to try and kill that guy though I don't know it doesn't matter it's not relevant <laughs> the plot hole Budapest. Ah, oh, city of cathedrals. Yeah, I see you right there on the bridge of the Danube, kid. I kind of like to talk to you, you know. Well, why don't you email me? How are you doing, kid? How are you? <laughs> kid, I'm putting together a little concern, which would uh, enable those of us in our rarefied profession to avoid uh, embarrassing overlaps. What, like a union? Yeah, more like a club. Work less, make more. Maybe a consortium. It's like they'd appropriate a guild. Oh, a guild. And you would be the president of this organization, or maybe just a father figure to me. Hey, if you want a father, I'll give you a spanking. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't want to play against you. This thing is real. How real? Moranga brothers. Uh, them uh, East German ecstasy guys. Oh, I don't like those guys. Them uh, butch Filipino ladies. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, bing, 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 bang. Popcorn. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Drive safe. Jeez. <laughs> You know, when you start getting invited to your 10-year high school reunion, time is catching up. Are you talking about a sense of my own mortality or a fear of death? Did you go to yours? Yes, I did. It was just as if everyone had swelled. <laughs> Yummy. This is why I sleep on my stomach or my side. <laughs> Fuck. Do you think there's a lot of hitmen in, in the world? I think probably more than I think there is. Yeah. But not as much as John Wick. Correct, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere between this and John Wick, probably. <laughs> He was supposed to look like a heart attack. He was supposed to die in his sleep. Well, he moved. Sir, this is a very valuable firm. Hey, look, Sergeant Pepper, I really... <laughs> Ants, the gods want you to go back home and they want you to delete someone while you're there. <laughs> so could you um, tell Dr. Oatman that I'm on my way? Oh, yes, of course. All right. What was she so relieved about? That he's actually doing the job? Mm -hmm. And they'll all have husbands and wives and children and houses and dogs and, you know, they'll have made themselves a part of something and they can talk about what they do. And what am I going to say? I killed the president of Paraguay with a fork. <laughs> you didn't tell me what you did for a living for four sessions. On top of that, if you've committed a crime or if you're thinking about committing a crime, I have to tell the authorities. I know the law, okay? But I don't want to be withholding. I'm very serious about this process. <laughs> and I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Come on, I, mean, that's... Come on. I was just kidding, all right? The thought never crossed my mind. You did think of it, Martin. You thought of it and then you said it. <laughs> Come on. If I show up at your door, chances are you did something to bring me there. Okay? I don't care about that stuff. You don't care about what stuff? You know, morality. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Advice, should I go to the reunion? Yes, yes, get out of town. Thank you. Go see some old friends, have some punch, visit with what's her name? Debbie. Don't kill anybody for a few days, see what it feels like. I'll right, give it a shot. No, no, don't give it a shot. Don't shoot anything. <laughs> as you know, this weekend is points high class of 86 reunion. Hey, I know everybody's coming back to take stock of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this Hill Valley High? Looks very similar, doesn't it? It's probably the same school. I think it might be, yeah. <laughs> I'm at his house. <laughs> Didn't I keep up with his parents? How long have you worked here? Couple months. Yeah. Is the manager here? No. But... How long have they worked here? I'm not telling you that either. Where's your manager live? Who? I used to. What? What are, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you worked here? Only a couple months. All right. All right. What's done is done. Let's forget about the whole thing. <laughs> Honestly, I can't think of anything better. If my house had to go. And snacks and movies. Yeah. You love it's a great alternative. Sitting in places and eating snacks. That's absolutely sure. Watching movies. You can never go home again, Oatman. But I guess you can shop there. <laughs> yeah, get some moon mist while you're at it. Some Zima. Do you see that Zima? Some Zima. <laughs> Marcella. Never mind that. Find out where my mother is. I want my mom. Pretty sad that he didn't know where his mother was. Yeah. Hey, Martin. Mom. Hey, I'd love to see you here. Oh, it's not very nice, but yeah, yeah. They're fun. They're fun. 
<laughs> They're fun. They told me you have been taking lithium. Yes, all those blabbing mouths. <laughs> Mom, what happened at the house and all the money I sent? They stole. I don't do money. Excuse me. It's time for the invitation. Oh, uh, Nurse Scott. This mom spent all the money he spent sent back on drugs. I feel like it's this is different than the version that I watch. You remember this part? No, I remember this part. I just feel like there's some lines missing. I think it's weird that lithium is a medication, but also what we put in high car batteries. Batteries. <laughs> <laughs> what? So he left town after his dad died. No, his dad died in 89, and he graduated in 86. And the guys following him said he hasn't been back since the last seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Uh, seven or six years. I don't so think so. That would have been right after his dad died. Could be. And here's the specials doing one of their songs. How are, uh, how are you? It's good to see you. You look great. How long has it been? Ten years? Since you stood me up on prom night and vanished without a word. So what's your business? Professional killer. <laughs> you get dental with that? No. I mean, you get paid enough, you, you don't need perks. Right. He just pays out of pocket for yeah. his dental co yeah. costs, too. Or just tells the dentist I know where you live. Right. <laughs> what, what is this I'm feeling here? What, is this pain? Is this panic? Is it pleasure? Am I hungry? Who's hungry? <laughs> Sit. Kill the mic? She doesn't want to kill the mic. <laughs> Two young lovers with frightening natural chemistry. Boy never shows up. Not until now. This is not like my idea. This whole whole thing is my therapist's idea, really. Is that a safety issue? He just wants to be able to watch he, the six. He does. Yeah, he doesn't like his back towards windows, right? Come on, Marty. This segues so nicely into my '80s weekend. Should a once broken-hearted girl give a guy a second chance? I'd make him jump through some hoops for a while, walk over hot coals. <laughs> Next caller, you're on the air. Yeah, I me, mean, man, it's Nathaniel. I, I don't hear any real remorse, dude. I mean, like, I don't think I'd let this guy back in your life. And, dude, I'd make him wear that prom dress. <laughs> Put that down. I have a question uh, for Martin. Uh, I have a question for Martin. Uh oh. Yeah, Debbie, hi. Uh, Long-time listener, first-time caller. I love the show. Uh, so, Martin, what? Didn't anybody miss you? Don't you think you should tell her why you're really in town? We love tough guys like you. Oh, thanks. And that was our own Michigan militia with their latest <laughs> chart topper. <laughs> if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's, well, broken. Harsh. Yeah. Hey, man. How the hell you doing? Sure. I got my car parked around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Is your Beamer? Yeah. In Detroit? Not sacrilege. Well, you know, guess who I got it from? I have no idea. Bob the Steppolo. Bob the Steppolo sold you a car? Yeah, he did. Didn't he uh, break your collarbone and steal uh, your woman? Yeah. <laughs> so you're Should he be driving a Ford? That's what he meant by, isn't it sacrilegious to yeah. drive a BMW in Detroit? Terry Rostan, how you doing? PHS. Terry Rostan, oh yeah, you were always the guy who was. Yeah, uh, yeah I remember you. Yeah, eighty six. Yeah, cool. How you doing, man? You look good. You became a cop. You no, know, we don't. We don't enforce the law. We just execute company policy for homeowners. Oh, I get it. <laughs> rent, a, rent a cop. Yeah. Security. You have the authority to shoot me. Correct. Wow. All right. All right. How'd yeah. you get the gig? Oh, you know, they were hiring. It was only a two week course. Yeah, it's good. Well, I made it easy. You look good. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> a few minutes. Listen, I gotta get something off my chest. Have you been home to see the old house? Yeah. <laughs> he sold it. 
take a look at this uh, new listing. Debbie's house. Yeah. Kind of crept up on you, didn't it? No, you drove us here. <laughs> <laughs> ten years, man. Ten. Where have you been for ten years? Went into business for myself. I'm a professional killer. Oh, does that? Do you have to do postgraduate work for that, or can you can you jump right in? I'm, I'm curious about that. It's, not, it's an open market. Open market. That's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, how do you enter the network of? I imagine Hitman. Uh, Craigslist. Maybe. <laughs> Works for the government. Mercenary for a while, probably. Oh, yeah. Then you develop connections. You're taking your time, just being a professional. Something like that. Oh, the reason I called. Could you find out who else is in town? I've made two spooks in a pool so far. So if they double book the job and or they're going to kill me, you know, I'd like to know about it. Let's see, 3,000 rounds of 9mm subsonic. You had that. I gave that to you on the fucking list. Well, I don't give a goddamn where it is. You get it here now. <laughs> She's a boss. Just gotta make sure the stock's right. Base, you put the chicken in, you gotta add other flavors. Carrots and celery are just a base of a soup. <laughs> <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> I just think it's so rude to go to somebody's house. I'm pretty sure these are the sound effects from Doom. What? For the guns. These are the sound effects to what? Of the guns in Doom. Oh. So that's why the kid doesn't notice anything. Save the innocent bystander. <laughs> no, I'm not all right. I'm hurt. I'm pissed. Gotta find a new job. <laughs> I'm sure he can find another one with all the skills he's got. You are asking me to go as your date to the reunion? Yes. It's unbelievable. Well, you know, what the hell? I'm not even planning on going. Really? Really. I am I was just going to be mean about him on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. my God. It's Marvin and Debbie. Marvin. It's me, Amy. Amy. His yeah. other sister in real life. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Mind her? No, 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 no. Oh. Debbie, I, I love your show. It's so timeless. Yeah, it does run a little long sometimes. Marvin? <laughs> it does run a little long sometimes. <laughs> oh, hi. They must be feds. I'll go downstairs, finish my drink, walk to the car, and I'll be back to the hotel in about a half hour. I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just go and shoot the fucker? Huh? <laughs> because we are not assassins, Mr. Grosser. We work for the American government. Hey, he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, didn't they see him do a shootout in the convenience store? Or are they out of the... I don't think they were there for that. Well, thanks for coming to see me. Hmm. So, is there a Mrs. Mysterio? No, but I have a very nice cat. Not the same. Well, you don't know my cat. It's very demanding. If? You don't know if it's a boy or a girl? I respect its privacy. Mm. <laughs> it's a nice ride. Nobody buys American anymore, huh? <laughs> How long until the reunion? A couple days. Doesn't he have a job to do? Mm. Pain. They're looking for an Oswald. Batsy to take the fall. Grocer fed them you. Who's the ghoul? Whoa. This guy is a badass. Went pro with a stunning debut aboard an elite Caribbean cruise line. Oh, that's where I know from. He's an asshole. 
So you're gonna get out of there, right? I mean, that's not right, right? You gotta get out of there, right? You're on a flight tonight, right? It isn't done. This is not good. I'll do it tomorrow, it's fine. Look, I have to go. Yeah, we all have to go sometimes, sir, but we can choose when. No one chooses when. It's gonna have to get into business. I mean, the target's not in Gross Point, right? It's just close to Gross Point in Detroit somewhere. Hey, just stop by. Want to say hi? Can I come in? You can't come in, but only for a second. The magic bed. The magic carpet. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like she gave him a whole new world. <laughs> Ten years. Oh! Fly. I'm flying. Be free. Emancipia, Sean. Oh, Are you free? Of course. Okay. What if your dad comes in? You can give him one too. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick me up. <laughs> I love airplanes. You don't ever give me them. You never asked for I them. I have asked for them before, and you have said, no, I'm not going to give you an airplane. You never let me pick you up. I have literally asked you for airplanes multiple times. I, not dude, since we moved to this house, but in the old house, for sure. I don't remember that. Yeah. Once. Oh, he's brown bagging me today. Does he know blanks in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thought he was trying to avoid him. Hi, my name is Melanie. Let me tell you about some of our specials. Today, there's the alfalfa on my mind. That's our featured omelet. Or there's Gatsby's West Egg Omelet. And if you're in the mood for something different... <laughs> Whole grain pancakes and an egg white omelet, please. What would you like in your omelet? Nothing in the omelet, nothing at all. Well, that's not technically an omelet. Well, I don't want to get into a semantic argument over it. I just want the protein, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. I heard about that little blow up at the Ultimart. It was a wicked ribbon shame. One of yours? One of your fraternal brothers? No. <laughs> Something about you doing some wonder dog named Cujo? Oh, Boudreaux. Little Boudreaux was a retriever, get it? <laughs> Boudreaux was never a target. Boudreaux was acting on instinct. I would never hurt an animal. So he accidentally killed a dog, and the people whose dog it was are pissed and trying to kill him. Have them kill him. It's like goon. All arrangements, all contracts, all engagements are regulated. You Tell me about it. Like I'm gonna put a bullet hole in your fucking forehead and I'm gonna fuck the brain hole. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> the waiter, waitress go. <laughs> She's hiding in the corner. Oh, look. Now look familiar. That's exactly what's on your shirt. That's right. Debbie, you look beautiful. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. So my dad's down the hall. Okay. He's to say hi to you. Sure. I'll go put these in some rubbing alcohol. Great. <laughs> How are you? Good evening, Mr. Blank. Sir? You've beaten the millennia. I lose my bed. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing with your life? Uh, professional killer. Oh, good for you. It's a growth industry. Does he believe him? I don't know. That's why they're all so dry. They just like roll with it. Yeah. No one's shocked by anything that's said. I love it. Okay, he's definitely falling for him. Look at him. Her hair looks really nice. <laughs> no, no, he's using oh, her. What a cruel bastard. I'm gonna enjoy killing that son of a bitch. <laughs> I would buy a t-shirt. That t-shirt? A t-shirt. If there was a reunion oh. t-shirt, I would totally buy one. Yeah, of course Wear you it would. every day. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Don't say that. Hi, Debbie. Just love your show. You're our demographic. Uh, I you, got, it... you got married, Arlene. Yes, I did, and three children. <laughs> it's really neat. Yeah. <laughs> She's only 28. <laughs> right? Ten-year right? reunion. She's only 28. She looks 40. That's what children do to you. Sure. 
Okay. Yeah, you gotta say hey to Eckhart, man. Hold okay. on, he's right over here. Hey, thanks hey. for the pen. Yeah, sure. You remember us. <laughs> I love reunions. Sure. It's kind of sad that you'll never really experience one. That's like... We had that shop party that one year. <laughs> <laughs> It, it hits different when there's only like 13 kids yeah. in your class, you know? Most of them still live in the area. <laughs> yeah. You see them every other week. Yeah. You look great. It's Jenny Slater. Jenny Slater, yeah. How, How are you? Good. It's been years. It's been really hey, good Slater. for you. It's good for you, too. Hey, Jenny Slater. Hey, hey Jenny Slater. It's really good. Hey, Jenny Slater. Paul. Paul's for Ricky. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of people there. People in the National Honor Society, yeah. blue stars on their name tags, like it fucking matters now that there was an honor club ten years ago. Right, right. I don't want to talk about the old days. What were we at? <laughs> couldn't stand that class, you know, but I appreciate you helping me out, man. You know, help me hit my target. Sure. Check this out. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's good. <sighs> Great. People think that when you get married, you lose your freedom. Not true. No. It gets better and better. So how are you? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Will you hold Robbie for a sec? No. I'm, I'm going to get his bottle. It's okay. Go ahead. Spend the first year just trying to keep these little guys alive. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> oh, nose wiggle. <laughs> Yes, I did. Right. Why is there a bride and groom there? Somebody had a really good day. <laughs> Got married. On their ten year reunion. Came to their re reunion. Hi Bob. It's me, Martin, from high school. I'm drawing a complete blank. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he found the single ones. <laughs> Are they single, you think? I uh, don't know. I think I was overly harsh when I said that you were broken. Uh, really? <laughs> I don't think you're broken. No. I think you're mildly sprained. <laughs> Honestly, breaks heal faster, so I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if mildly sprained is better. Do you have a wife in Arkansas? No. Do you want to dance? Sure. Okay. I love this song. Here we go, Paul. Yeah, dancing with Jenny Slater. That's right. You picked the lock? Or it's just unlocked. Stop. Too fast. I'm sorry. Too fast. Something, something's missing. Oh, I know. Welcome home. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Pointer. It's Arlene Hauslot Joseph. And who might you be? It is I, Sydney Feldman. Oh, been overseas. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> You have changed. <laughs> you can save a dance for me now. Oh. He's also like in his forties. He's like the grossest looking guy. <laughs> that was quick. It's been a while, so a lot of excitement, you know. Let's see a smart shower with my foot up your ass. Do you really believe that there's some stored up conflict? So who do you want to hit, man? It's not me. These are my words. It's a poem? See, that's the problem. Express yourself, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy's deal? He's just, like, really drunk. Really old joint. <laughs> you gotta watch out for these short guys. 
They're harder to knock over usually, you know. Yeah. Low, Low center, center of gravity. gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Pen came in handy. It's not me. Yikes. How's this friend react? This guy dead? But a millionaire's parent gets detonated and you're marked for life. Here we go! That was a good friend. Hasn't seen him in 10 years. <laughs> I know, He's Paul's like, oh, body. all right. Oh, jeez. The furnace? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Nobody's going to come looking for this guy. Come on. Come on. Eckhart, have you seen Debbie? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, he told him the truth. He did, yeah. He thought he was joking, but... <laughs> Take care of yourself, Ken. Thank you for the pen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Came in real handy. <laughs> Dr. Oberman, it's Martin Blank. Listen, I just want to tell you that I don't want to work with you anymore. Things are going really well here. They're going a lot better than expected, and I just don't really realize yeah. that this is me firing. Who is it? Who's gonna kill you, right? Yes. Definitely. You were joking. People joke about the horrible things that they don't do. They don't do them. It's absurd. <laughs> You're a government spook? Yes. I mean, no. I was before, but I'm not now. Uh, but that's all irrelevant, really. That <laughs> You're a psychopath. No, no, no. A psychopath kills for no reason. I kill for money. It's a job. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I bottomed out here. I've lost my taste for it completely. That's why I came back. And I wanted to see you. You know, I wanted to start over. Oh, so I'm part of... I'm part of your romantic new beginning. How come you never learned that it was wrong? There are certain things you do not do. You do not do in a civilized society. Yeah, what civilizations are we talking about? Oh, shut up. <laughs> not helping. He's right. We... Yeah, but he's not helping. <laughs> Debbie, don't go. You don't get to have me. You're overreacting. Yeah! Yeah! Would you be okay if, if I was a hitman? Pass pass on that conversation okay well how many more years do you think you'll until you're ready for that conversation pass okay, okay I'll, I'll save it for later i'm taking down the office now good i'll put things right and then i'll find you why it's not like that marcella look under your desk i left a little something for you all the way under. Why? And then I'll find you. Why? <laughs> She's worried he's gonna come kill her. You shouldn't have. That's profit sharing. You deserve it. All right! <laughs> Who's his target? We're about to find out. Don't fucking look. Her dad? Here he comes. What the hell is the matter with you? Get in the car now. Keep your head down. 
This is how he wins her back by saving her dad. <laughs> Design division must be dead over a leaky sunroof. You want to kill me because of that? It's not me. Why does everybody think it's personal? A leaky sunroof. <laughs> Don't move. the pot into the frying pan. I was always afraid to commit to a relationship. What? But now I'm ready to make it happen. We need to go upstairs now. You know, and I just need time to change. <laughs> He's never going to sell this house. I now. know. I was just thinking that, like, this house is... Gonna be hard to sell now. Workers of the world unite. Look at that empty. <laughs> Did he want to kill the feds? Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want you to think about this, and you don't have to answer it now. But Debbie, will you marry me? You got my blessing. <laughs> Isn't he still going to have people coming after him? Probably, but now he can run, right? Start over the new identity. Some people say forgive and forget. Yeah, I don't know. I say forget about forgiving, just accept. Get the hell out of town. Better dad. Is he going with him? Probably. He was going to testify in a court case or something, so they yeah. probably put him in witness, yeah, witness protection. Well, what do you think? It's awesome. It's a great movie, right? A little romantic comedy. Mm-hmm. With a little action. Yeah. Action, dark humor, romantic comedy. Good old hitman. Gotta love it. What's Mini Driver up to today? I don't know. No, John Cusack's still working. I feel like I haven't seen Mini Driver in many things lately. I'm sure she's still working. I think, yeah, older women have yeah, a little TV, bit harder so. to... <laughs> Harder to get in. They should do like a, a new reunion. Oh right. yeah, like a we'll thirty next. year, forty this, year reunion. Eighty six, twenty six. That's uh, forty year. Forty year. They don't really do forty year reunions, do they? No, maybe do it another ten years. Do fifty year reunion. They did like a ten, a twenty, and like a fifty. A 50. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I mean, I think you do it every five years, but the big ones are the. Yeah. Mm. Their on screen chemistry is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. They're very playful, and I've always had a little crush on Mini Driver too. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. she's got a like a like no matter what character she plays, she's just got great delivery, mm -hmm. good comedic timing. Yeah, she yeah she reminds me of like um like Emma Stone, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, like very similar. And as far as Good delivery, good comedic timing, able to make a character feel genuine and funny. My favorite Mini Driver movie? Mm. Where the Heart Is. Yeah. David Cutney. Mm hmm She gets the heart I haven't transplant. Seen that. I haven't seen that in a hot minute, but yeah, mm. that's a good one. It was one of those chick flicks I watched by myself because I was a huge David Duchovny fan. It's a little the sad, isn't it? A little sad. Yeah, it's a little sad. It's a little depressing. But it was a good one. She's mm -hmm. getting that. What is this? Your, oh, obviously, it's your favorite John Cusack movie. Yes, my absolute favorite John Cusack. They could have done like a boombox reference. That would have been good. Mm -hmm. This, Say Anything, and Serendipity are like top three John Cusack movies. This is number one, though. Okay. Yeah. Not better off dead? That's okay. Well, where do you think they went off? 
he's got a nest egg somewhere. He's been doing long enough. Definitely. Living in some island somewhere. He's definitely got some money stashed away. And yeah, maybe they would move to He probably had many, many different... Safe houses. Passports, things like that. Oh, yeah. Identities. identities. Lots of different identities, yeah. I'm sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I wonder how successful this was. I don't think it was very... I think it was... More, more like of a, a cult classic yeah. kind of thing. Yep, I think it's more of a cult classic. Yeah. It's dark humor. It's not overly funny. No, no, no. It's very subtly funny, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's, it's you gotta subtle. be paying attention to the lines. It's got action. It's, yeah. You know, hit man. It's not for everybody, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's not like laugh out loud funny a ton. Yeah. It's just It's kind of a mix of everything. It's dry it's not and sarcastic. Romantic. It's not overly yeah. action, it's not overly funny, but it's like a good mix of all of them. Yeah. That's just why I love it. I just love it. Yeah. Well, which people comment on after Gross Point Blank. Where does this rank in your John Cusack movies? Yeah. Where would you put this in your John Cusacks? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And do you think it's as enjoyable as I do? Yeah. Well, obviously. Is this anyone else's reaction. favorite movie? I love it. It's pretty good. I was impressed. I actually had never watched it all the way through before. So oh, I really? I had no idea how it ended. <sighs> It's crazy. So I think you, I always just let you watch it by yourself. And yeah. Watch it over and over again. I do. I think I've seen like maybe him getting to the radio station. I never get tired of it. Honestly, it. I I never get tired of this movie. I just yeah. absolutely love it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Tell us all your thoughts on Gross Point Blank, John Cusack, Mini Driver, mm-hmm. Dan Aykroyd, the whole lot. Right. Absolutely. Anything else? Thanks so much for hanging out with us for my favorite movie on February Favorites. Yeah. Love it. Stay tuned for more. Mm-hmm. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full of commentary, access to polls, hopes, pick up our sex. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.